10 years ago, Billie Eilish was a little girl singing in her bedroom. Today, at the age of only 17, she's still performing songs in that very same bedroom. The only difference is she's got a line of Grammys on the wall next to her now. Billie's come a long way without ever really leaving home. Yes, despite her success, she still lives in Los Angeles with her parents and until recently her producer brother Phineas. By the time Billie had turned 11, she was already writing and performing her own songs, but it wasn't until 2016 with the overnight success of Ocean Eyes that Billie found herself becoming the hottest pop star in the music industry. Billie Eilish pirate Jared O'Connell is an American singer and songwriter whose debut studio album When We Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go was the number one album of last year with 3.9 million units sold. Billy recorded the album in her childhood home with the help of her brother Phineas acting as her producer. The album garnered her six Grammy nominations and she became the first woman to sweep the four major categories in a single night on the way to winning five trophies total. And the Grammy goes to... Bad Guy by Billy English. O'Connell. I find it's O'Connell. Billy English. That's right, Billy's so badass she just won five Grammys working out of her bedroom. Kinda raises the stakes for all of us in this new world of working from home, no? Billy's parents are former actors who've given up their day jobs to help guide Billy through her new journey. And while some people might frame her success as a result of privilege, Billy is always quick to shut talk like that down. Speaking about the neighborhood she grew up in and her parents' assumed influence, she told NME, Highland Park has become popular now, but growing up there, it was not like that at all. There were gunshots and shit. You know, it was really sketchy. Hearing like my parents were actors, okay, no disrespect, but they weren't like famous actors, celebrities, they were working actors. With the type of critical and commercial success that Billy has found, she's managed to amass a vast amount of wealth in a near record amount of time. She's currently estimated to have a net worth of around $6 million, but with the news that Apple Plus has purchased a documentary about her life from filmmaker RJ Cutler for a cool $25 million, you can bet you're gonna see that number take a significant jump in the near future. In fact, I'm willing to bet by this time next year Billy has a new house all to her own. But for the time being, I'm gonna tell you all about the house she grew up and found her fame in, as well as take a look at the new house her brother Phineas just purchased that will no doubt become her new recording studio. Hey guys, it's Karen. Today we're taking a look at the house of the bad guy. No, not Razor Ramon, the original bad guy. But this generation's version, Billy Eilish, here for you on Famous Entertainment. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you ring that bell for notifications as well. We've done house tours and the likes of Ariana Grande Monday's new mansions and Tyra Banks and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat and as always let me know what house tour you guys would like to see next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Billy grew up in is located in the Highland Park area of Los Angeles. Inside is 1,200 square feet of living space with two bedrooms and one bathroom. Its current estimated value is 763k, but when inevitably winds up on the market one day, I'm sure the Billie Eilish bump will knock that estimate over the million mark. The residence was built in 1912, and property records indicate that the family bought the home in 2001 for $240,000. Last year, Phineas gave a tour of the home to AWOL. So, so this is the house I grew up in. We only have like a two bedroom house. During this segment, he revealed that his parents actually let the two siblings each have their own bedroom, which leaves them sleeping in the middle of the living room on a pull-out couch. A two bedroom house and there's four people in it. Instead of making me and Billy share a room growing up, our parents just sleep on a futon in the living room, which is really nice of them. It's a tight fit for everyone, especially when you consider the fact that the house has three, yes, three pianos inside. But growing up, we grew up with like three pianos in the house. Having music in every nook and cranny of that house was really important to me. Phineas also gave a tour of his bedroom slash recording studio. Billy and Phineas have recorded all of her hits in the makeshift studio that doesn't even exceed $3,000 in equipment. His setup includes a Yamaha HS5 near field monitors worth around $200, a Yamaha H85 subwoofer worth $450, Apple Pro Logic X that costs around $199, an Audio Technica AT2020 mic that sells for $99, and a Universal Audio Apollo 8, which can be worth around $2,000 if brand new. Speaking about his setup, Phineas told AWOL, There's a crazy intimacy, I think, to what we're doing. 
there's such a kind of a like private feeling to what we're doing because we're not at a recording studio where different people are there every day and people are down the hall. Like it's our house and it's where we live and it's where we have experienced everything. That allows us to make some kind of music that that feels wholeheartedly exposed as far as like who we really are as people and as siblings and as you know, children of our parents. I think it's just really honest. Not to be outdone by her brother, Billy also brought a film crew into her home. She invited James Corden of The Late Late Show to come and take a look at the house she grew up in. She let James know about some of the rules that she had growing up, like this one. When you were growing up, ah. that your parents mm -hmm. couldn't make you go to bed if you were making music. Yep. That's amazing. In any form, if we were playing the piano, playing the guitar, playing the ukulele. And she credits a lot of her success to how she was raised and the environment she grew up in. Do you feel like being at home and still living at home has grounded you in the last 12 months? Probably more than I realize. Um, also, just like being around my parents all the time and even on tour, my parents aren't there. My mm -hmm. entire family, besides my dog and my cat and my spider. I have a spider. You want to see it? Yes. She even let James take a look at her cherished pet spider because, of course, she has a pet spider. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Why would you do that? Why would you have such a thing? Because he's cute. There's nothing cute about it. Zero. You're wrong. He's bright blue. Does he? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't. Billy and her entire family were still living together in the house as recent as of last year, which came with some rather obvious advantages. When you're in here recording, are you both like, Mom! <laughs> yes. I need a sandwich! <laughs> Mom! She just said all the time. Is that what it was like? Yeah. <laughs> Is they, that yeah. what it was like, really? <laughs> yeah. All yeah, day and night? It totally. Was, I want a burrito and a grilled cheese sandwich. You'd yeah. bring it back in. Yeah, and I'd lay in the bed and I'd listen to whatever they did. But Phineas decided it was finally time to ranch out and get a place of his own. I'd say that must make his parents happy to finally get a bedroom back, but something tells me they probably aren't tearing down that recording studio, so they're probably stuck in that living room until Billy moves out. Next, let's take a look at Phineas's new place. Phineas recently dropped 2.73 million on a home in the Los Feliz neighborhood of Los Angeles. He either really loved what he saw or was just desperate to get his own place because he reportedly paid nearly 250,000 over the asking price just a week after the property hit the market. This nearly 100 year old home is more than double the size of his parents' place at 2,800 square feet with four bedrooms and 4.5 bathrooms. I can only imagine how happy he was going from sharing a bathroom with his entire family to having 3.5 spare ones. If I for him, that would probably be my favorite feature of the house. I brought over this little bathroom cart, which I think is so cute, and I'll figure out what to properly put in here, but it's nice because it kind of has its own little corner. Still figuring out what to do in here. I want to get more cute baskets and stuff. We'll see. We'll split this in half as well. The exterior is drop dead gorgeous with its Spanish inspired pops of color. You enter the premises through a bright red front door and the backyard is an entertainer's dream setup with a dining patio that descends to a second patio with a pergola. The grassy space in the back also houses a separate pool and spa. You can just tell it's so cold. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cold. Oh my god. Ah! Oh, it's so cold. Oh my god. It's so cold. Wow. Are you gonna go back in? Yes. The interior has been pristinely renovated and kept in touch with its roots, showcasing oak floors, stained glass windows, beam ceilings, arched French doors, and a sweeping staircase across two stories. On the main level is a living room with a fireplace, a dining room with arched windows. <laughs> and a center island chef's kitchen with satilo tile floors. A nearby breakfast snook overlooks the surrounding valleys. Upstairs there are three bedrooms and the master suite tax on a lounge accompanied with a spacious closet and bathroom with custom tile and a deck that extends to the space outside. As nice as the place is, the real question is how long before Billy moves in to record her next album? Well, according to the Daily Mail this past March, Billy was seen doing just that, moving in with her brother to work on her new album during the middle of the pandemic. So maybe we'll get a new album once all this craziness is over. But one thing I can almost guarantee you, she's already taking advantage of Phineas's new driveway 
to house her slowly building car collection. Billy recently purchased what she said was her dream car, a $30,000 matte black Dodge Challenger. For what it's worth, she's also been seen cruising around town with a sporty blue McLaren worth roughly $160,000. That's more like it. She's mentioned previously that she's interested in designing her own car one day. I really want to design a car and my goal would be to design a car that is like powered by solar panels that's electric. But also would look hard though too. Like it would look dope. And considering her unique sense of style, I can't wait to see what she comes up with. But for now, she can probably thank her brother for a place to park her cars. And that brings us to the end of this video. What did you think of Billie Eilish's home and her brother's new place? Do you think you'd still be living at home at her age with her type of success? What do you think the pros and cons would be? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below and don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you want to chat on there. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.